to prove some of you wrong. Can you all see me now? You can. Hi, everyone. So you can't say I don't, I never come on time. I'm always on time. How are all of you today? I was just looking at your chats and I came to know you guys were saying I don't come on time. Naughty, naughty, all of you. Oh, yeah. I know who said I can see all the chat going on. You guys were early here. 15 minutes early. And, but it's kind of true. No, it's not true. And another thing for you guys is that I'm not going to give you any prices for just writing the chats here, filling up the chats. Because if you do that, it is not fair on others. Do you think it's fair on others? No, it's not. So just going on writing on the chats, thinking you guys will get a prize is not true. It's not easy to win. You were just chatting. Oh, yeah, I saw your chat. So you can't get a prize just, just writing random messages in the chat. You guys should be doing some work to get. You need to own your prize. No? People are cheating. Yeah, I know that they are. I did not have the intention voting for fun with Ali. We won't be doing voting as I there were some of you who said that you don't have friends here. So we will be working out something else for you guys. I'll be working on something else for all of you. It'll be fair and we'll do it on we'll when we have a class on Friday. We might do another topic for creative writing on Friday or something because some of you might not like creative writing. So we might do something which all of you like and we can do that. We can plan something. What you guys did, or I can do that. You can write about anything what you guys did within this week. You want to vote. Ashmi wants to vote. We'll do it. Don't worry. So we'll be, I'll be telling you guys on Friday, what are we doing? You're eating mangoes. That's good. It's so hot. You like essays, but some of them don't like it. I don't want to vote. Okay, let's start doing what we're doing today. And then after we know what we're doing today, your fasting must be over now. Or you guys are still fasting. Okay, you know what we're doing today. Let's... Mm, I am, okay. You know what we guys are doing today. We'll be doing little of grammar. We'll be doing conjunctions and we are going to do subordinate and main clause. Some of you know it really well because all of you are so clever. Uh, Kajal said it's Viva there. I want to vote for Preet. Amrita, that's you only. Don't try to be funny with me. Are verbal codes in level plus? Yes, they are. So we need to be focusing more what we're doing today now. And remember, we are doing main clause and subordinate clause and conjunctions. So we are going to cover three topics today for your grammar. And remember, you do get grammar for 11 plus. So we need to be really good in all the things what we're doing. We can't just be bad in everything what we do. So we need to be really, really good in everything what we do. Yeah. Hi. So let's wait for one or two minutes. So basically, we'll be don't go after the lesson. We'll decide how will we decide the prizes. So we'll be doing. I'll be showing you one PowerPoint for uh, for subordinate and main clause. 
if some of you don't know how to do it you can just have a look at that and see how to do it and after having a look at the powerpoint we'll be doing some conjunction sheets first and then we would be doing some subordinate and main clause that's the main things what we are going to cover up today hi how are you doing i'm fine and don't worry i'll be reading your messages if i don't reply your messages don't mean that i don't i'm angry with you guys or something it's not true hi pankri pankri you're not late you're on time don't worry so should we get started i'll show you some powerpoint for uh, main and subordinate clause i'm just showing for the sake of just showing for the sake that you guys know what they are i know all of you are really 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 clever and you don't need to see it but there are some uh, some of you who get really mixed up with main and subordinate clause so i just wanted to show you guys how it is and then we can we can start now and then we can start doing some of the sheets what i have planned for you guys so here i share my screen with you guys i hope all of you can see the screen really fast you can sorry clear so let's get started yes we are doing we are doing the clauses today and we are doing conjunctions today so basically they are saying subordinate clause are used to add more information to sentence all of you know that and i'm sure you guys are really clever but just have a look it'll give you a rough idea what it is so they are saying subordinate clause are used to add more information to sentence subordinate uh, clause and main clause main clause would be the one with the green one and subordinate will be the one in the purple one so although i was scared i creeped inside so although i was scared is your subordinate clause and i creeped in i crept inside is your main clause remember subordinate clause can sometimes be in the beginning or it could be in the end so this is something you have to be really careful the boy who was 10 jumped so in this one if you see the main clause is the boy jumped main clause could be in the beginning of the sentence and also in the end of the sentence that's the main clause and subordinate one is who was 10 so it tells you that so another one i creep inside is the main clause and if you give extra information in this one that would be your subordinate clause again in this one if you look this is something all of you get really confused when you do in your when you when i give you some examples if i give you to write something down you guys get confused when it's something like this the boy who was 10 jumped so if if you guys were doing that you would be just doing it in the way you'll say oh the boy who is the main clause was then jumped is a subordinate clause that's wrong you don't do that way so the way of doing is the boy jumped is your main clause who was then is a subordinate clause always remember subordinate clause always has who because you can ask yourself a question about the subordinate clause in the main one you can't do that so this is something you have to be really really careful when you look at them put a comma on each side of the subordinate clause this is something you when i tell you to make your own sentences all of you is you get confused by this like put a comma on each side of the subordinate clause you have to put a comma to differentiate between them like in this one mr smith who worked as a secret agent flipped through the paper 
silently. So, Mr. Smith, flip through the paper silently. That would be your main clause. And who worked as a secret agent? That would be your subordinate clause. Commas is something I have seen that all of you for you don't do it. You always forget to do that. Like in this one, the lady, comma, who had grey curly hair and thin rim glasses, must have been her grandmother. So uh, again, let's ask. Uh, if you guys can try doing this one, what do you think would be the lady must have been her grandmother? You know, that is the main clause who had gray curly hair and thin rimmed glasses. Definitely that would be a, uh, your subordinate clause. Again, in this one, remember, you have to make You can't use a semicolon. You have to use a comma in this because comma is the one which differentiates between two sentences and semicolon doesn't do that work sometimes. So you have to be really, really careful what you're using. The wind comma, which was bitterly cold, hauled through the trees. Again, you guys know what it is. So... Like it, look at they are again giving you another example. I like these examples they have given you. Emily, who was a small and cheerful girl, that is a subordinate clause, was her way to school. So you guys know Emily was on her way to school. You know what this is. Yeah. The, the man who seemed mystery mysterious. Slept silently. You know, what did he do silently? The man sleeps silently. The train which was late speed past the station. So it didn't stop at the station. So you guys know what it is. So these are the some of the examples they are giving you guys to explain you. And you guys know how to do it now. So we can do some sheets now with you guys. I'll stop sharing this screen now and I'll be sharing the other screen with you. So I'll be sharing the other screen with you guys now and please concentrate and see what are we doing. I'll put the screen a little big for you. So you can have a look at the screen. So now it's a conjunction. Uh, do you guys know what coordinating conjunctions are? Please zoom in. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just zoom in for you guys. So you can have a look. Can you have a look now? They're just giving you examples for coordinating conjunctions. You know what they are. And, but, or, yet, or, for, nor, so. These are your. You should never begin a sentence with the coordinating conjunctions. And, but, so, or, yet. You guys know that. You are really clever. Subordinate conjunctions. You know what subordinate conjunctions are. These are, there are lots of them. After, although, as, as if, as long as, as long as, as though, because, before, even if, even though. I'm just giving you because when we'll be doing the sheets, it'll be easy for you guys to understand what they are. I can't see. Zoom. I've zoomed it for you guys. If you want me to zoom a little more, I can do that. So you can see now. You can see it. So you can, these are all your subordinate conjunctions because when we are going to do the sheets, it'll be easy for you guys to understand what they are and you can at least know them. Have a look. I'll give you guys a minute to have a look at them. 
I'll give you a minute to see them, then we can start doing it. So we can start doing the exercise. I'll give you a minute. If you want to screenshot them, it's easy for you guys to do it. You can do it because these are subordinate conjunctions. You might need them when we are doing the sheets. I hope all of you have seen them. There are lots of them. So these were subordinate conjunctions. And collative conjunctions are, if you want to have a look at them, have a look for a minute because you will be, you will be needing them to do the sheets. What are, what are we going to start doing them? So you have, you saw in the beginning, we did coordinating, uh, sorry, subordinate conjunction. I've showed you. Now these are the, these are the basic conjunctions you need, the subordinate, the correlative conjunctions. You know, always they are like, not only data dash, but also. So you have to use, if you have something like this, not only, but also, you have to use them in a sentence which has both these things. Like I'll tell you both and and I'll use this one for you guys to give you an example of this one. Both and and you can use both my brother and my sister love me. So this is you can make a sentence like this. Uh, this is the way how you use both of them. And they have also given you an example. Try looking at the example, how you use coordinate uh, correlative conjunctions. You, you need to use both of them together. Whether you earn an A or get a lower grade, do your best. This is something your parents always tell you. Each conjunction is followed by a verb. It should have a verb in them. And when you're using like this, both, uh, sorry, both John and Bill are excellent tennis players. You know them. Each conjunction is followed by a noun. So you have to use both of them together. This is how you have to do it. And if you look at another, let's look at the last example. Barbara is as tall as Mary. So you know that there are two nouns. Are compared so you're using two nouns in them in correlative conjunctions always remember remember you should be using both of them together like using not and but together so this is something have a look for a minute all of you because we'll be starting your here comes your first exercise try doing it now I have given you a lot of examples and all of you should be doing it right now In this, you are supposed to, you're supposed to uh, put these coordinating conjunctions in the blank. So you have blanks, you have to make it. So here you go. The rain is very heavy, dash, the game was probably not to be played. Probably not being played. What do you think is the first? One. First one is, I'll go with Viva. First one is, so is, Ali's also done the right one. So the first one is, so what about the second one? Well then guys, all of you did it right. So the, your one is on the board Ali. Second one is and good. John worked in a restaurant on weekends dash during the week and during the week. And number three is. What about number three? Number three here you got all of them. 
Number three is but. Sherry has a great job, but she is very unhappy person. Good. So let's move down a little bit now. Try doing number four. Try doing number four, number five, and number six now. What's number four? The sun is shining brightly. Dash the picnic was still cancelled. But, but the picnic was still cancelled. That's a good one. Number five, Rita, or sorry, Rita is an excellent volunteer. Dash, she was probably be chosen for the orchestra. So what do you think is for number five? Number five is so good. Try doing number six now. The security lines are very long at the airport. Dash, you should probably leave early for your flights. Number six. I'm ready for number six. All of you gone to number seven. Number six is so. And number seven is not so, guys. Number six is so. What about number seven? I will not go to the game. Dash, I will watch it on TV. What about number seven? Number seven is not so. Number seven is but. Good, Viva. Remember... Ashmi, we are doing coordinating conjunctions. However, it's not a coordinating one. So you need to make sure. That's why I showed you guys when you said what I'm showing you. I showed you the link and the words are on the top. You have to use. You only have to use and, but, and so in this one. So remember what you guys are using. So number seven is but. What about number eight? Mary has six brothers dash 11 cousins. Eight cannot be but. That's wrong. And good. Mary has six brothers and 11 cousins. I do I do not like pasta dash I do like pizza I don't like pasta and I like pizza but good but I like pizza number 10 Max loves San, uh, San Francisco dash he is thinking of moving there Waiting for number 10 now. Number 10 is... Number 10 is so good. Now you have to use these ones. Just have a look. The ones you're using now, you need to use. Again, correct coordinating conjunctions are in the blank. You have to use yet, for, nor, or, or in this one. So try doing the first one. Marsha does not play jazz, dash, the blues. 
she prefer hip hop and rap uh it's not nor it's or good pretty is or for the first one good ashmi malsha does not play jazz or the blues she prefers hip hop and rap the second one john does not like ch uh, chicken dash does he like pork or burger burgers which one second is nor good let's move on now let's put it down try doing number 3 now sheila works her dash dash she does not make a lot of money she works hard and she does not even make a lot of money what do you think would be for number 3 now yes good at least manish started doing some work then telling me how many subscribers he has in his face it's in his youtube good number 3 is yet shela works hard yet she does not make a lot of money that's good number 4 the sun is very strong dash jaisav still won't wear any sunscreen not he him but is not the right one for this one it's yet good i love you more than anything in the world dash you are sweet and kind what do you'll do for number 1 oh, sorry number 5 I love you more than anything in the world. Good. It's not oh you guys are till not because remember what you're using guys you are not concentrating there were some words given to you what are you supposed to use? It's for. I got the right answer. I love you more than anything in the world for you for you are sweet and kind. You don't see the words the words were shown to you in the beginning. Here have a look. You just have just write these words with you uh, in a piece of paper you are just using yet for nor and or in this one. So try doing number six now. Number six is: Would you like coffee, dash tea? I would prefer a cup of coffee. Yes, is or for that one good? Would you like a coffee? or tea i would prefer a cup of <coughs> coffee number 7 henry does not come from mexico dash is from brazil he is from honduras honduras what's for number 7 nor yes good Number 8 I will go to Montreal dash Quebec for the weekend I'm not sure what do you think he'll go Ah uh, no when you're using something like this two places always what do you use you use or in that good
James is very tired, tired dash. He will still continue with us. He will still come, sorry, he will still come with us to the movies. To the movies. So what do you think is for number nine? Yes, number nine is yet. The last one for this one, then we'll move on to the other one. Wanda, Wanda is very happy that she, ha she has finally earned her degree. Good, Dia is four for this one. So look at the words now. You have lots of them. Try writing them down because you will be using these ones in the blanks now. In order that as long as whenever because where then that while before and unless. If you can take a screenshot, do that. And then we can start doing the sentences. So try doing the first one now. I will never go to the restaurant again, dash I live. As long as, good, that's for the first one. As long as is for the first one. The second one is now, dash, dash, Joe needs help, he calls his two brothers. No, it's not before. That's wrong, guys. That's wrong. No, it's not as long as. It's whenever. Pretty got it right. Whenever Joe needs help, he calls his two brothers. Dash Sheldon works for the post office. He never works Sundays. Try doing number three now. No, it's not while. I'm waiting for the right answer. It's not before. You can't say whenever Sheldon works for the post office, he never works Sunday. Doesn't make sense. You can't use since, remember? Uh, no. None of you are getting this one right. The answer for this one is because. Because Sheldon works for the post office, he never works Sundays. The answer for number three, none of you got right. The answer I've given you. You did that, but I didn't see that after I wrote on the board. On the... Then you start doing it. Try doing number four now. I would rather read a book dash watch a stupid television program. Good is done for that. 
I would rather read a book than watch a stupid television program. That's good. Dash Roger goes to Miami. He will buy a new bathing suit. What's for number five? Then. No, it's not then. Number five is not waiting for the right answer for number five. It's not when, it's not when all of you are copying each other. It's not when. He's trying to do something when he is doing it. It's before. It's before for this one. It's not when, it's before. Because before Roger goes to Miami, he will buy a new bathing suit. He's telling you that he'll do it before he goes somewhere. Yeah. Number six. Dash travelers have time to pass through security. It is recommended that they arrive two hours before their flight. What do you think would be for number six? Whenever is not right. In order that Arya got it right, good. In order that travelers have time to pass through security, it is recommended that they arrive to us before their flight. Good. Try doing number nine. I do not believe Dash Hector's father is a doctor. Unless good. What about this one? Dash Maria is an avid joke, joker. Her sister Julia's prefer just to sit on the coach. It's not unless even though. No. Remember what uh, words you can only use. While I got the answer now. Good. Number nine now. I do not believe dash. What about number nine? This one is for number eight. I'm looking for number nine. Yes, number nine is that. Good. Number 10 now. Mariam loves the city that she now lives. Mariam likes the city. Where Mariam lives. I'm just looking if I get the please can't see. I'm looking where I can see the answer. Where she lives. Good. I won't be doing another one like this because we have done a lot of 
conjunctions today. I can put the sheet. All of you can try doing it yourself. I want to move on. There are lots. Okay, let's do these two examples. You want to do two ones? Let's see which two ones. Then after these two ones, just have a look. We are doing two of them now. Try doing this one now. Try looking at the words you have now. I'll you I'll remove that now. You can see. So try doing number one. We just have one in that. So what do you think is for number one? As and as. Kajal is dash fast dash Martha. They have the same time in the hundred years. As for both. Good. Kajal is as fast as Martha. Let's move on. Now, what about number two? Wiki studies dash biology dash chemistry. Good, not only, but also that's good. For number three, dash the professors, dash the students like the new buildings. Verb number two. Number two is done. Not only, but also waiting for number three now. Neither and nor good. Neither the professor nor the students like the new buildings. Number four. Gino is dash a waiter, dash a cook instead. What about number four now? Good, sir. So. Not and but is for number four. Gina's not a waiter. But a cook instead. Number five now. I will go to Dash Bermuda Dash St. Thomas on vacation. What do you think would be for number five? No, it's not. I'm waiting for the right one for number five. No. It's for number five. None of you have given me the right answer. The answer for number five is either or, or. I will go either Bermuda or St. Thomas on vacation. 
Number six now. Number six is to stay late dash leave. Right now, I want to thank you for your help. No. Ready for number six now? If anybody can give me the right answer. No. I didn't get the right answer yet. Try thinking what they're asking you and then try doing it for number six. Dash, you stay late. Dash, you leave right now. I want to thank you for your help. I got it. Good. Mohammed Soli had given you the right one. It's whether or, whether or or whether you stay late or you leave right now. I want to thank you for your help. Try doing number seven now. Enrita has dash in. MBA dash a uh, PhD that's incredible. You want to see the options? Somebody is saying they want to see the options. I'll just take a picture of the options you're using. These are the options if you want to have a look at them. Now we can go down. I've done the options again. Somebody was asking. They want to see the options. Now we are on number seven. What's the answer for number seven? Both and and. Good. That's for. Anusha has given me the options for this one. Good. I'm leaving exercise eight for you guys to do it on your own. Okay, let's do this one. You need to combine two sentences into one using the conjunction. What's given to you? My sister has many friends. She has not found a special one. You, you, you need to use while in this one. And remember to write the sentence. How would you use this one? My sister has many friends. She has not found a special one. You need to use while in this now. How would you use? I need the full sentence now. The full sentence will only come on the screen. No. I got the right one. While my sister has many friends, she does not have a... She does, does not... She has not found. There's something wrong in this one. You don't like have a special one. That's wrong. Have becomes has. So this is wrong. Try correcting your sentence. While my sister has many friends, remember your commas, what we did?
while my sister has many friends she has not found a special one that's for you number 1 number 2 john is only 8 years old he can play the piano very well good we got it although jo is 8 years old he can play the piano very well that's a good one number 3 now elma ate the chicken and rice she also ate two hamburgers she was so hungry word out number 3 not using swearing words in the chat please not only am i eight not only not i eight that's wrong something is wrong in this one not only am i eight the chicken and rice There is. There should be a comma here, Joseph. After rice, there should be a comma. But also, she ate two hamburgers. After rice, there should be a comma. There is something wrong in this sentence. Again, in this one also, there is no comma here. in this one also there's no comma here not only am i ate the chicken and rice comma but also ate the two hamburgers so please correct your sentences all of you this is the right one well done i got the right one with the commas not only elma ate the chicken and rice comma but also ate the two hamburgers good kiran you're going on putting the wrong one i did with the comma that's why i said your one is right you put with the comma let's move on to number 4 now remember you all need to remember your commas very nicely the the fourth one is need a uh, net is the manager of the bank he does not make a high salary and the word you need to put is though Let me see. I put one on the screen, but I need to check if that's right. No, that's not right. That's wrong. Sneha, can you correct it? Oliver, I think so. Your one is right. It's not right. Correct this one, please. Need is a manager of the bank though he does not make a huge salary oh i got the right one this is the right one well done not the uh, though need is the manager of the bank comma he does not make a does not should have a astro contraction in that 
does not should have that there's something wrong and does not remember you need to be very careful yes in this one those should come in the front all of you are getting confused with these ones can you read mine all of you are writing it wrong i'm waiting for the right one is the manager of the bank comma it does not make a that's the right one what i have put although nit is a manager of the bank he oh i forgot the s here sorry does not yes this is the right one well done preet nit is the manager of the bank there should be a comma here again you forgot the comma yes it should be does not yeah that's what i said i forgot the n the does not the, i forgot the n in that one let's move on to the rest the next one so you guys forgot your mistake in this so jena ate breakfast then he washed the dishes and the word you are using is after and that was a easy one we got it after jena ate the breakfast comma then he washed is wrong there's something wrong in this one another one who can do the right one for this one please you know what all of you are not doing this section at all right all of you are getting this section wrong venish can you try doing it let's see this one now i got another one i'll put on the board i'll put on the screen and see if this one is correct after jena ate breakfast comma then he washed the dishes is wrong he washed the dishes then is gone you don't need to do then in that one that's the right one look at the screen all of you that's the right one after jeno ate breakfast comma he washed the dishes then is removed because you you're using instead of then you guys are using after so then gets says goodbye to you guys say bye bye i'm going for my lunch i'm gone then goes and you're left with this one only so stop using then in the sentence all of you you are almost towards the end these are the last ones you are doing you all are doing it wrong that's why it's taking so much time if you guys concentrate we'll be able to finish it really fast so number 6 now
Barbara arrived at home at eight. Then she called her sister. And the word you are using is once. Let's put this one where once Barbara arrived at home. Once Barbara arrived home, comma, there should be a comma after home. And remember when you're using this, because you're using once, once Barbara arrived home, there should be a comma, what she did. At 8, remember you're going to remove at 8. At 8 gets removed. When you're putting another conjunction, you have to take one conjunction out. And the one you're taking out is at 8. So if you take at 8 out, it will be once Barbara arrived at home, comma, she called her sisters. Good. Once Barbara arrived at home, she called her sisters. Let's doing, uh, do the last one. Bill will work late. In fact, he will work until 9 p.m. So what are you guys going to take out in this one? This is the easy one. You're just using until. So you're going to remove another until in this one. You do. You never say that until 9 p.m. Will will work late. That's wrong. Let's finish it fast, please. If you guys do that, it'll be me only giving you all the answers. As the answer for this one. Bill will work until 9. Will work until 9 p.m. Number 8 now. I will never go to the. I will never go to that restaurant again. I will live a long time. I live a long time, as long as. Try doing this one. I'm not going to ask anyone to give me the answers now because I'm just going to do it. I don't like the way you guys are behaving today. That's why.
Good. I got the answer here. I will never go to that restaurant again as long as I live. So that's your answer. I will never go to that restaurant again as long as I live. So that's the answer for number eight. So you two more left. Just finish it fast, please. Just concentrate for two more minutes and just finish it. Hell studied a lot. He still got a very low grade, even though you have to use in this one. Okay, even though you need to write even though in this one, let's put this one, even though Hannah studied a lot, she's a girl, not a he. Oh, it's a he. He still got a very low grade. He, he still got a very low grade. That's not the right one. You, your grammar, something is missing in this one. Yes, that's for number nine. Even, even though spelling is wrong. Hell studied a lot. He got a low grade. And the last one for today. Everyone likes Henna. She is patient and, rela and relaxed. I also like her. And the word you're using is because. Everyone likes Henna. Good, I got the answer. I like henna. Everyone likes henna because she's patient and relaxed. Good work, everyone. I'm done now. I also had one subordinate and conjunction uh, subordinate sheet for you guys. I will still put that sheet. And if you guys have some time, just go over with all of them. And the work what will be given a prize would be, I'll be putting the sheets on the group till Sunday. You have to do, because you guys were not concentrating so much. Your work is, you have to do all the sheets again yourself without looking in the answers and email me. Please put mine on the board. I'm not putting anyone on the board right now. Do you have a website? Yes, I do. It's called Amicious Learning Tuition. So I'll be putting it in the group. If you guys are not the member of 11 plus ALT group, I would say that you please join our group because I'll be putting this sheet in the group today for all of you to do it. So have a go. Look at the sheets. Try doing it for yourself. 
there's no competition in this do we have homework it's no competition just try going over because all of you got stuck towards the end try doing that and because we did so much grammar today i'll do one class on friday for you like we had the vocabulary class but i won't do that as a vocabulary class for you i'll do a math class on friday and i'll choose a topic which has been liked by all of you yeah so i'll see you guys on friday do you have some materials for parents i'm helping the children here so we don't have any material for the parents so what do you guys want to do on friday let me know tomorrow is your resting day i'll have a good day and night don't worry i will is there any lesson tomorrow no there's no lesson tomorrow there'll be a lesson on friday and we'll be doing some maths on friday we'll be doing some maths on friday we won't be doing any english because we did english today non verbal please radhika wants to do non verbal what time on friday friday is the same time it's on 12 o'clock maths yeah we'll be doing maths on friday how can we join the group just send me a link to the group it's called 11 plus alt group if you guys are new here and also you can join our youtube if you are on facebook so all of you know the facebook group i do not like maths but you will like maths don't worry what about creative writing you want to do creative writing on friday how many of you want to do creative writing on friday we did ratio 9 term preet if you look at have a nice day ashmi maths is the best i know maths is the best Don't worry, we'll make maths into. You want to do creative writing? Ashmi wants to do creative writing. Okay, let's do because everybody is saying creative writing. Any class this afternoon for key stage two? One? No, it no because only one key stage one person came, so we are not doing it. Maths is the worst. Okay, so let's do one thing. I'll give you. We'll do mix. We'll do little bit of creative writing. We'll start. I'll give you one topic of creative writing. Okay, we'll do creative writing then because all of you are saying creative writing. We can start with creative writing and do little bit of maths with it. So I'll see you guys on Friday now. Okay, we'll do creative writing on Friday. We'll just discuss one topic in creative writing, and all of you would be writing the topic for me then. And then we can again choose the best one in creative writing. Okay, have a lovely day, all of you. I'll see you guys on Friday with your creative writing. Then there's no session tomorrow. Tomorrow is a rest day. I'll be putting. There's nothing tomorrow. Tomorrow in the Facebook group, I'll just put the old videos for you guys, the old education videos for you guys to have a look. that's it so i'll see you guys on friday at 12 now bye there's no maths on friday there'll be creative writing